Hey, what's the deal, Sanji baby? I want to thank y'all for coming back and watching my channel, especially if, uh, if you're not a Sagittarius cross watcher or someone I met in person. It's a beautiful thing, and I really appreciate it. And yes, let's keep in contact. $20 injury, email me to set up an appointment, or if you want to set up an appointment, you could cash out me, PayPal or cash out with uh, your information and message because the overall energy is uh, or what people should be asking themselves. And this is one of the type of cards I could pull for you. What situation in your life is bringing you financial wealth and stability? Boss energy, masculine energy, you're in your masculine energy, that's Gemini, which is the opposite, which m means you're moving around like that air, but somebody feel trapped with the communication. It could be a boss that didn't think before the fuck he talking. Maybe he don't think he have to, but he will with you. Because you're not going to respect people and think they're going to shit on you or have a tone with you. Bitch, I'm grown. So this person has done this before probably and they think they could do it again, friend. And that's why you're starting off in the beginning of your creativity. And now they could want to communicate. They could want some understanding. But you probably also know this person probably heard what you said about them or watch something on your social media and they know that they wrong or they probably feel like um, they have no one else for that position and now they're thinking about it or you was the best for that position or more dependable or didn't bitch and complain like they're gonna get and it's okay because you're starting a new beginning friend yeah you got some other motherfucker in they feelings they cannot uh they need to grow the fuck up they are not the idea of a man or a woman this is a uh, water energy in reverse they're deep in their feelings they can't control their feelings. They trying to stop something from falling. So this is another reason why this person trying to keep something afloat. It could be a business. It could be a household. It could be a friendship to them cheating and being hoes. But whatever they doing, you know, it's not going well. And this could be something that they tried to do on their own. They didn't collaborate with no one or no one had to participate or maybe no one wanted to do it with them so they did it on their own or maybe these people said they would help them and they didn't really do their best or give the best advice but whatever it is you and your boss energy I feel like with the eight you feel trapped but you also feel balanced maybe you need to learn more about what you're doing or you need to communicate with yourself more in a positive way what situation in life is holding you back what skills are you being called to develop? That's what's keeping you trapped because you're learning something. Or you need to get out, get more confidence and uh, know that maybe you new to it and give it time. Or maybe you need to uh, think more positive so you get the answer. So, you know, like calm down, have more patience. That's loving yourself. So, yeah, we got somebody that's immature, that's not the idea of anything. So, this person wouldn't even be with that cup in their hand with intuition one. They wouldn't even be going to the right person, people are things to do business with. Even if they tried to have a uh, 16, I think it's positive change. Let's see, 16. Oh, sign of encouragement and support. Yeah. 16 angels sign of courage and support so this person didn't have no support even from their spiritual guidance or maybe they went to they phony little friends and felt trapped because they wouldn't communicate or something went wrong but either way let's keep going okay this is twin flame connection what memories from the past are trying to get your attention? I don't think it's getting your attention anymore. You're in your boss energy, and that's what's also pissing this person off. 
because maybe they trying to get their finances together, get their business together, and until they make it right by you, until they get their soul in fucking order, that's not happening. Yeah, that's gonna stay on balance with that eight, whatever work, whatever communication, whatever message, or whatever they trying to action they trying to take. It's gonna stay in reverse. Cause guess what? Bam, they ass is in karma and they gonna be in karma and you and that what goes around come around cause you not cooperating. And you starting on your little creativity. You and your youngster energy. Your inner child is kicking in, friend. You doing what makes that inner child happy. Honey, honey. So, yeah, they could be stuck in an unhappy relationship as well as this twin flame. And nothing's going on with the work with those ones, those batons. Whatever's deep within their meaning. Whatever they tried to walk in like they talking, they couldn't do it. Yeah. Oh no, we're gonna keep that out. My bad, I always do that. Yes, honey, I hope you had a good day. You did or you will. Leave me a note, a comment, or ask me a question in the comments section. Yeah. I mean, I can read these upright. Let's read them upright. Because regardless, it's like. With this Scorpio energy, not Scorpio, excuse me. He, they're out here, but with this Earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy, they, um, uh, to me, that's Earth energy, stability, security, using your intuition with this purple, green, new beginning. You're not letting nobody come in between that. You're not letting your boss or your supervisor, whoever that thought they could talk to you any kind of way, or uh, talk to you like you're not a grown ass person. Yeah, they feeling trapped with the communication because they're not manifesting shit, and they're not gonna manifest shit. And what are you doing? I feel like these people trying to put love spells on you, act like they like you, or act like that. Like I said, you like that position is not uh hard, and that just anybody can do it, or. Acting like um, they have stability, security, and they trying to keep their shit up. Yeah, this person have gambling problems. That's where they came. I had these already pre-shuffled. Go a little faster because I need to relax. But it's all good. This is my favorite part of the uh, my daily assignment, one of them anyway. So, yes, honey. Yes, this immature ass person had problems with addictions, gambling, and finances. Gambling. They wait forever to do shit. Gambling. They gamble on you, talking shit and disrespecting you, ghosting you, wanting them to wanting you to chase them, not doing what they say, wasn't delivering fucking much, not even in bed. They was gambling. Yeah, this water energy. I hope they don't stop recording. Excuse me, y'all. Yeah, trying to stop a tower in their life. And we going to see what it is. Okay. Make room for the new beginnings in, uh, on the way to you now. To me, this came up right. Because um, they want a new beginning, but nothing's going right. Whatever they tried to do on their own. They didn't collaborate with no one or they were studying or nobody wants to cooperate. Maybe their partner don't want to do shit. The actions. That's why they're in karma. You would have been a team, but they want to outshine you. They want to put what you were do doing down. They want to compete with it. That's why until they do right by you, which been in my last two videos, they not going to manifest shit. This came in reverse two people. Honeymoon came in reverse. Them two hearts are in reverse. Nothing is aligned. They're in the wrong place at the wrong time. Energy with who they trying to love and who they putting their love into, right? How many? That's six. They not reflecting love. Even if this is not the twin flame situation, because this came in reverse as well. You're not going on any dates. To me, this person's stuck in karma. 
This is to me confirmation because I did this one already. They are stuck in karma. Even if they would say this was all right, taking some kind of action, reflecting love, giving out messages or working on something to get to this. Oh, so that's what they would be getting to if these cards was upright. That's why they're in karma. That's what they're going to miss out on. They're going to miss out on getting work balanced, working for themselves, or working harder and getting what they, I mean, less uh, work putting in the work. Because, I mean, come on. If y'all both putting in the work, not only do we make it easier to get what you want, that also give you a, 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 a advantage to get things more uh, at more value if y'all both don't work, I mean, wanting to put in the energy for it or take turns. You pay month, six months rent, I pay next, you save your money for six months, the next six months I pay the bills and you save your money and we both gone. This is also building trust. But either way, we don't spend more than a hundred without each other. We got to get permission. I used to work in Radio Shack when I was young and I seen old, old women that didn't even know what a button battery was. Cause she was a housewife. Her husband passed away. Now she have to do things on her own. And uh, I had some men that uh, would call their wives and this was mostly white men with career jobs. I'm just not being funny, but it was. They would call their wives and ask their wives, can they, he would say, I got to discuss this with my wife, if he going to spend more than $100. That was their thing. And it makes a lot of sense. So let's keep going. Let's get on the money, honey. I'm not going to go on all but debt. It's paid off. You're out of a toxic work environment. Or you was in one or you still are. You, Your insurance or whatever you're doing is really helping you climb that mountain. Somebody's in debt. Somebody wants to retire from a job or leave a job voluntarily. Yeah, somebody's trying to sell insurance or they're trying to insure something that's going to be for sure. Someone is overspending, and I think this is you as well, and someone is shopping. Okay. And you're having a payday coming. Are you overspending on payday? Are you over-treating yourself or something? You could probably make it home. You go and buy it on payday. Put that up later. Let's see what the love. I want to come go to you immediately. That's why this person's upset. Sex with you. You are so different from everyone else. Don't uh, wait for me, please. And I want to go come to you immediately now. They want to come to you. They want to have sex with you. Because you're so different. I need to hold back my true feelings for you. I feel like you telling this person do what's good for them, please. Don't wait for me, please. Uh, I need to hold my feelings back from you. I can't handle your love, okay? That shit is trash. You don't want it. You can't handle that. That dysfunction. Because you see why they say that, that fell under you so different from everyone around me, around me. You can't handle that dysfunction. I need to hold back my feelings with you. Yeah, this person, you need to hold back that sex. Yeah, fuck the feelings. Because they don't have any for you. It's the sex that they want. Or that they thought they were going to use it for. Or uh, try to control you with. This motherfucker crying at night because of that. <laughs> 
and sex got them crying at night because they don't really know you and what they want to make out of you that you know that they didn't get to really know you or they want to just hear what they want to fucking hear. No matter what the fuck you were talking about. So this person don't really love you, they don't know you, and they crying over at you like you probably was crying, got your feelings hurt because you can't believe that you know it probably it doesn't matter just like you moving on like it's not the person you miss, it's the memories. So it's kinda like you could do this shit with anybody else. So it's kinda like, you know, uh the way I treated you was wrong. That's how this person feels. So it's kind of like, okay, this person's crying over you because you're different and all this, but you was crying over them because you can't believe that they went out their way to hurt you. And maybe you've never had, <laughs> maybe out of all your life, you've never had someone go this long or go out their way to repeatedly be mean to you and you not get what was the point. You know? You didn't know that this person was happy being in poverty. You didn't know that this person, I need to pull one more. The passion is too much, yeah. Huh. You didn't know that this person was happy being broke with their little tennis shoes and their little cheap clothes, with their expensive shoes and their little cheap clothes, or their expensive bag and their little cheap clothes, you know. They was happy like that. They was happy with the check engine light on. They was happy like that. They was happy using other people's shit. They was all right with that. They was all right with sleeping on the couch, not getting a good rest. Living from pillar to post, enjoying hotels where they have no obligation. Now, when I put these money cards, jobs and money cards, and this is another stack I can pull for you, cosmic energy is when they tell you about people pregnant or uh, moving out or wanting to move or something of their energy. Uh, if you've been keeping up with me, we got what you need to ask yourself or what they need to ask them. They got themselves. Um, Money, job, physical features. I did that one. If you want me to pull them for you. They got some ranks showing people jealousy and envy. And if they, uh, and then we got the past. We can ask what got them to, what caused y'all to get to this. And then we got the spiritual angels, right? That tells you uh, what you need to do for romance. And now let's talk about these people. Features, we got makeup. Or maybe you need to wear some if you don't. Hazel eyes. Don't have to apply to everybody. Green eyes. Could be even contacts. Resting bitch face. Maybe you need to try green hazel contact. Or someone do blonde. If it's not real. Uh, wavy hair. It could be a hair weave. Who knows? Blonde hair weave can be too. Dyed hair. Red hair. Dyed blonde or regular natural. And then we got twin flame. And then we got I am lame because I must be moving too fast, child. High heel shoes. Maybe you haven't worn them in a while or you need or you do. Oh, that's the finish for some women. <laughs> yes, let's roast their asses. Yeah, somebody in the group. Maybe we are even at your job watching you feeling trapped because you're privileged. Or this person's feeling trapped because they can't control their emotions. Or you don't want a motherfucker that's still hanging out like a grown ass man and woman drinking and getting high or talking shit like they still in high school before class and shit. Yeah, they have no empathy. Yeah. This could be somebody, a supervisor, even at your job that hangs with people. Yeah, they don't say they don't have no problems with you, or maybe you don't have no problems with them. Let's keep going. Yeah, you getting that money, honey. 
You finna get what you want, even if it's not a billionaire. You using that intuition day and night. You see how them colors fading? Day and night. You using that sexual energy to go around, you know, to use at your advantage. To get ahead and use it to get more hours at work. Use it to stay up longer. Use it to get better rest. Shit, you using it. That's what they don't get. Somebody with no mores and cares, but they think they could dress cool. They have no empathy. So these people don't have a problem with you? Yeah, you don't trigger them? Okay. So you could have, like I said, you probably have some people that you met in person that are good people. Or you probably do have some people that you do readings with or talk to and they come back and talk to you. Or people you're meeting. So this is beautiful. You're not a fucking narcissist. And you're not triggered. That's why they gave up on trying to play with you or... Thought, uh, yeah, I mean, if they were trying to trigger you, I thought you would be triggered. I guess at some point it was fuck you, get away from me. Maybe this person at some point was hanging one deep when they were fucking with you, but then when they got, they started hanging with the motherfuckers you y'all were talking about, or they just was hanging with people a lot, uh, people more, a lot a more unnecessary as people. And it wasn't because it was the people are unnecessary. This person really are not where they're supposed to be in life. Or maybe they are and they just not in your league. <laughs> you feel me? They just not. <laughs> That's what it is. So you got these people with no empathy. All they care about is getting dressed and looking good. You got some people that like you that's not triggered by you. And they might hang in a group. Or they might have friends they talk on the phone with or hang out with. And then, um, or they might be a leader of something. And then you have this person that's not, you're not shallow. You're not triggered. <laughs> you're not a narcissist. And you're not shallow. You have deep thinking. You don't judge people just because you see them dirty. You don't know what people going through. You don't judge people because you see them wearing the same clothes over and over. You know they might have a mental problem. Or some people that gain weight. You know they probably been through depression. Or they going through shit. You don't judge people. You understand it. You can put a name on it. You can label it. That's how deep you are. You don't laugh at people with this, uh, think you better than people because they're handicapped or because they have a lower job or because they serving you or giving you kind of your nails done or a massage. You don't look down on people that do service because you don't, and then you don't really put no motherfucking uh, reward on the bitches that's of an authority figure. You look at everyone for how they present themselves or what you think they could present themselves that they might not see. You see you, the good in people. So how can you see the good in people? Because you see the bad. And if you just see the good in people and you excusing the bad, that's no good. That's why you went through the bullshit, right? Not trusting yourself, the second and third, guessing yourself. So when I put those cards out earlier, I meant to say, excuse me, I put the money cards on top. So business. So your person could be going in debt because they trying to keep that uh, Tyra moment from falling, which could be a business that they're trying to keep going or something that they bought or uh, it didn't work out, something that they tried to do on their own and it didn't work out. Let's go to the angel cards. Because that child moment been out here, and when I put the money card on it, it said it's a... Uh, it was something about business. It had debt came on there. And it had sales. And they was trying to do something 
on their own and they wasn't conscious or doing their research or didn't have backup or did it the professional way or maybe they didn't look at enough videos, do their research. Maybe because they lied to themselves and they lied to other people. They lie to themselves, they lie to other people. They lie to themselves, that's why when they see things that they don't want to see, they lie to, that's good for them. They lie to themselves and convince themselves, you know, like every rich man could tell you why he should keep his money, honey. And every broke man, woman, can, um, you know, rich, can tell you why they broke and why they're going to stay broke, you know. It's like, do you want rich people problems or do you want poor people problems? So this person didn't do all their research. They trying to keep the business going. Yeah, they got children over there that's affecting them also. Let friends help you. That's what they need to do. Or that's what they got going on. They got friends, they got a business or a home that's falling apart. There's no chemistry, came in reverse. It's getting hot in here. Engagement with children. Let their friends help them. Or let your friends help you very soon. What you want will come to you now. Whereas there's no chemistry because they can't free themselves. <laughs> They stuck with them kids and or whatever engagement or contract to obligation to commitment they made. Give your relationship a chance. That's what they wanted to do. Or somebody want to have children with you, get engaged and uh, give this relationship a chance. Work out their partnership or whoever they had kids with from my last video. They are engaged or they was engaging or interacting to the point on a high level of commitment and they want to give their partnership a chance okay because you over there letting your friends help you or you should get help from people that's doing what you do maybe at the job or the new job or you know even look at youtube channel see those are your friends that's gonna help you uh do something you don't understand okay yeah they in unrequired love that's what they want to give another chance to, an unrequired love. Because they can't free themselves because they're kids. They can't free themselves because they, they feel like it's a high level of commitment. They cannot free themselves. Past life relationship in reverse. How about the same? So they can't free themselves financially with this, right? So uh past life relationship came in reverse. So you're not about to have to deal with a person. Are they with the new person? This is not a past life relationship. But either way, I think that what it is is this past life relationship is in reverse, just what it's in reverse, it's backwards, you know. It's it's no good. That's why this person can't free themselves, right? And there's no magnet attraction anymore. So it's kind of like very soon you're going to get something more you want. And you're going to be in a high level of engagement. But the thing is, this person can't free themselves or you haven't freed yourself because y'all haven't met each other. Like you haven't met this person. Because you got chemistry in reverse, meaning you have no chemistry because you haven't passed and they, uh, met them and they're not a past life relationship. Yeah, you're going to put in, they trying to make an effort when it comes to their kids. They're trying to get rid of that karma. <laughs> Let your uh, friends help you. They not playing about letting their friends help them with an unrequired love. Very soon they think shit going to come to them with another unrequired love. This could even be the karmic. Making it up because they have kids and they want to get engaged and they want to give their relationship a chance. This could be your friends letting their friends help them. Or the karmic letting their friends help them so very soon they can get in the unrequired love. 
I hope you had a good day. If you didn't, I'm here for you, baby. And I am getting back to work. And I hope we contact and talk to you later, Gator.